contenders for the Republican primary were on stage at a debate and Donald Trump, the elephant not in the room, was brought up. But we are going to take a brief moment and talk about the elephant not in the room. Former President Trump has been indicted in four different states on 91 counts. He will be processed tomorrow in Georgia at the Fulton County Jail for charges relating to the 2020 election loss. You all signed a pledge to support the eventual Republican nominee. If former President Trump is convicted in a court of law, would you still support him as your party's choice? Please raise your hand if you would. Governor Christie, you were kind of late to the game there, but no, you raised I, your hand. No, I'm doing this. Look, <laughs> look, I'm doing this. And I know this. you didn't. Whoa, whoa. No. Come, what's and the no, look, I, would, would, look here's, the, here's the bottom line. Someone's got to stop normalizing this conduct. Okay? Now, and now whether or not, whether or not you believe that the criminal charges are right or wrong, The conduct is beneath the office of President of the United States. And, 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 you know, this is the great thing about this country. Booing is allowed, but it doesn't change the truth. It doesn't change the truth. Mr. Ramaswamy, you raised your hand supporting... No, I'd like to get in and respond. Let's just speak the truth, okay? President Trump, I believe, was the best president of the 21st century. It's a fact. And Chris Christie, honest to God, your claim that Donald Trump is motivated by vengeance and grievance would be a lot more credible if your entire campaign were not based on vengeance and grievance against one man. And if people at home want to see a bunch of people blindly bashing Donald Trump without an iota of vision for this country, they could just change the channel to MSNBC right now. But I'm not running for president of MSNBC. I am running for president of the United States. We're skating on thin ice and we cannot set a precedent where the party in power uses police force to indict its political opponents. It is wrong. We have to end the weaponization of justice in this country. 30 seconds, Governor DeSantis. No, no, I'm sorry. 30 seconds, Governor You make me laugh because you 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 sit here in an answer. You sit here in an answer. You sit here and answer. Go ahead, Governor Hold Christie. Hold on, Governor Christie. Hold on. Well, so listen. The more time we spend doing this, the less time they can talk about issues you want to talk about. So let's just get through this section, Governor Christie. You you sit here talking about how you want to stand up for the rule of law. Yes. And law and order. And the fact is that it can't be selective. In your book, you had much different things to say about Donald Trump than you're saying here tonight. That's and, not true. No, it is very true. That is not true. It's very true. I read it. Because and I know. the difference between look, bad know, behavior and illegal behavior, way, Chris. And you as a prosecutor way, should know yeah, better. Yeah, I, you know what? I know a lot There's better. There's a difference between I bad know, behavior. And I know a lot better than you do. You've never done it like you've never done anything to try to advance the interests of this government except to put yourself forward as a candidate tonight. And here's the thing. We stood up for law and order. I did it as U.S. attorney. I did it as governor. And I am not going to bow to anyone when we have a president of the United States who disrespects the Constitution. He said, he said, he said, he said, Martha, Martha, it's important to say that the president said, Donald Trump said, it's okay to suspend the Constitution. Now, the oath you take is to preserve, protect, and defend, not suspend. I will always stand up for our Constitution, regardless of the political pressure. We have another question for you. We're going to get everyone in on this issue, but I have another question. I have another question. Hold on, you will. All right, so... I'm going to stop it right there because Fox News just went on to another topic as to whether or not Mike Pence was right on January 6th. They just let Chris Christie and Vivek Ramaswamy go at it for a few minutes, and then that was it. 
on Donald Trump, the guy who's leading the Republican primary, the guy who's also uh, being processed tomorrow at Fulton County uh, Jail in Georgia. Just a few minutes and just two people going back and forth. And those two people are, you know, Vivek Ramaswamy, who's at like 10 percent in the polls. Uh, So he just clearly he just kind of wants to make a name for himself. Uh, And then you have Chris Christie, who has been spurned by Donald Trump a number of times and who's kind of made a pledge uh, to enter this race and to slam Donald Trump whenever he could. And the crowd loved it. There were some big time cheers coming from the crowd there uh, after Chris Christie condemned Donald Trump's uh, behavior, his, his conduct. And then, you know, you have Chris Christie criticizing the normalization of Donald Trump's behavior. And then you have Vivek Ramaswamy doing that exact thing and saying that, oh, no, no, this is this is politi- politicization. This is uh, this is the Democrats going after Donald Trump and and the media. He kept on repeating that, you know, Chris Christie uh, is trying to get onto MSNBC and he's you know, he's 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 cozying up to the to the liberal media, not criticizing Donald Trump whatsoever for wanting to suspend the Constitution. Uh, This Vivek Ramaswamy guy is a complete joke. (laughs) Uh, After this, uh, after that moment, there was a nice moment where, uh, again, like I said, they stopped talking about Donald Trump to go on to whether or not Mike Pence was right on January 6th, uh, which the obvious answer is like, uh, of course, he didn't, you know, throw our democracy away and just have one person deciding uh, what the election, uh, the the outcome of the election was going to be. You had... Chris Christie actually praising Mike Pence. We one more time. Yeah, we're we're going to move on. I, no, we're going to. Martha, can I answer the question? Can I get in on okay. this? Okay, I'd like to answer. You, no, I've you already like been in on it, Vice there. President okay. Pence. All right, I'd like to answer the question Go you ahead. asked and not give a pre-canned speech. Mike Pence stood for the Constitution, and he deserves not grudging credit. He deserves our thanks as Americans for putting his oath of office and the Constitution of the United States before personal, political, and unfair pressure. And the argument that we need to have in this party before we can move on to the issues that Ron talked about is we have to dispense with the person who said that we need to suspend the Constitution to put forward his political career. Mike Pence said no, and he deserves credit for it. Okay. Uh, Governor Haley, we haven't heard from you on this. Do you agree? Did the, did the right thing that day or not? So it's funny that kind of in all of this, we get one of the best moments of the debate where you have Republican candidate Chris Christie praising former Vice President Mike Pence for basically standing up to Donald Trump. But then you also have these ugly moments where Vivek Ramaswamy is smirking uh, through his uh, his speech about how uh, you know, he would support Donald Trump and how it's all just the Democrats and the media. It's their fault. It's not Donald Trump who uh, pressured, you know, all of these states to find him votes. Um, you've got all these moments, but you've also got a great moment where, uh, and by great, I mean just n- notable, where the Fox News anchors, uh, Brett Baer, uh, asks if they support Donald Trump, if they'll support him, even if he's found guilty. And you've got a lot of people shooting their hands up in the air, but you also have a lot of people looking around the stage, trying to figure out whether or not they would support Donald Trump if he was found guilty. And that one guy, center stage, Ron DeSantis, he is having a truly terrible night. The guy is clearly unfit to be on the debate stage, let alone run for president of the United States. And you can really see that when the entire stage to his left raises their hand and he realizes that, you know, oh, okay, I I guess I should raise mine too.
So Ron DeSantis is completely in over his head here, uh, and it's he, he's terribly awkward. Uh, Vivek Ramaswamy is a fast talker, but he's incredibly dangerous because he's touting these Donald Trump lines, which amazes me because Vivek, the guy lost. Why, why do you want to cozy up to the guy who wanted to upend our democracy? It just seems wild to me, but he's not a serious candidate. You've got other people like Chris Christie, who pretty much knows that this is kind of a lost cause, but he's out there to uh, speak truth to power, uh, especially against Donald Trump. Uh, and then you've got other candidates who they want to they want to criticize him, but they also kind of want to, you know, they're they're in it for themselves. But Vivek Ramaswamy, he just he's low in the polls. He doesn't care. So he's just like, you know, mega gung ho. So bad night for Vivek. Bad night for Ron DeSantis. Um, in my eyes, I thought Chris Christie's comments there about Donald Trump and about Mike Pence were probably the best comments of the night.